Capture One just received a huge update and I'm super excited about that and I cannot wait to talk about it. So that's uh, the topic of this video. As you can see, I'm in my new home office. I have been away from YouTube for about two months now. Um, there are two reasons mainly. One is I had a trip. I went to Fair Island, which I'm going to talk about it uh, in future videos. And then right after the trip, we moved to a new house. And that was kind of a big project for me. Still, it's a going on project. I'm sorry about my voice. I had a, I am a bit sick now. I have a bad voice, but I couldn't wait to, to share these new updates with you. Now back to the video. Chapter 1 just released them big and huge update. This update includes uh, some new features plus some improvements over the existing features that the Capture One had before. And the biggest one, in my opinion, is the AI masking. Based on my own tests and what I have seen from it, uh, it works very well. Let's have a look at this new feature together. Uh, this image is one of the images and Basically, is the last image I took in my uh, my trip to Faroe Islands. Uh, this is a Saxon beach. I I exposed uh, this image for the highlights. As you can see, we have very hot and bright clouds. If I reduce the exposure, you can see I have all the data here. They have all the details in the clouds, and if I increase the shadows. Uh, we have quite a lot of information and data in the landscape. It's a 3 seconds exposure, F18, ISO 64. Let's see what uh, we can do with the AI masking. If we look at the layer and mask uh, tool, it got some upgrades. And you can see now we have uh, two buttons here, which one is subject and the second one is the background selection button. And below that, we have uh, our selection tools, brush, magic brush, and now we have a new tool, which is the AI brush and AI eraser. So let's see what we can do. I'm, I'm not sure if we're gonna, we have a clear subject to, to tell and select with the select uh, subject. So I'm gonna select the AI brush right away. And first time you do that, uh, Capture One takes a few moments to analyze the image and find all the subjects. But um, this has been done before for this image. So I'm gonna go over these different elements. And you can see as I hover over various uh, objects in this image, it creates immediately a selection for that. And uh, this is super cool. I can select the water here quite nicely. So if you can see that if I hover on the land, I can select this rock, which is quite dark and it's, uh, impressive that it can see and select that one. Now I'm going to select the water. If I hit M, I can see the mask. That's my mask. Uh, when you hover, it might not show the best mask, but when you click, it creates a very good mask for the subject you have selected. But as you can see, it also selected this part of the sand, which I don't want to be included in this mask. So what I can do is select the AI eraser. And now it's removed from the mask. You can further improve it if you want. The second change here in this layer and mask tool is that the opacity slider, uh, now it's in the bottom, the tools went up and now we have a new tool or new button here, which is refine mask. Uh, you had it before, it's not new, it, they, it just got a new uh, button for itself. Before this update, you could just right click on the name of the layer, adjustment layer, and go select the refine mask. Now we have this button, you can select that one, 
and increase the amount of um, the radius of the, the refinement edge just to make sure that it creates a nicer transition so it's not creating any hard and harsh edges here for us click apply let's hit m to hide the mask overlay and uh, what i'm gonna do with this water is to open up the shadows a little bit more perhaps increase the clarity to bring out those details in the foreground very nice let's call call this layer water so we don't know which layer we are working with and if we turn the arm off you can see it just affects the water which is brilliant now this time i'm going to select the sky let's call this one the sky give it some exposure some contrast more saturation i'm going to reduce the clarity in the sky and increase the contrast touch more working with levels just to bring out all those details nice details in the sky now as you can see you can go on and uh, select and create more masks let's do one for mountains and by the way if you click on two subjects it's gonna add to the, the selection so now you have selected two uh, mountains in both sides let's hit m to hide the mask we can increase the exposure and contrast now we can see more details in these uh, mountains as well and if we see that there is some haloing or some weird edges always we can use refine mask to compensate for that i'm gonna add a new layer and of course you have all the old uh, masking tools as well like this radial uh, gradient filter that i'm put here to create some glow here and for that i'm just right click on the name of the layer go to apply and uh, adjustment and i have a custom adjustment to for these kind of things it comes below and click that below maybe i make it warmer and more saturated and then reduce the opacity quite a lot so maybe only eight to ten percent is all i need for this glow effect let's call this glow we can turn it on and off and you see this is a very subtle um, just increase it a little bit so you can see it and let's give this a four by five call very nice now let's see what else this ai uh, masking can do for us this is a very busy scene and uh, i already have edited this image I have one particular problem with this image, which is this first tree behind this main subject, main tree. And they are very close. And this one has a very bright uh, edge here, which creates a big contrast and it's kind of distracting. I want to select this one and mute it out. I have a layer for it and I did some adjustments and I can just paint over it and you can see what it does. And uh, what, well, yeah, of course, I can just do something like that and paint it over, but I want to do a better job. So let's uh, clear the mask, and this time we're gonna see if the AI can select the throne in a busy scene. And as you can see, it can, so very nice. I'm gonna select this tree. sometimes it doesn't select because i'm using vacuum i guess uh, when i click with the mouse 
it works. And then let's uh, refine the edge a little bit because I don't want to have uh, I don't want to have a hard edge. So just uh, something like 22 pixels should be fine for this. And as you can see, if I hover over different uh, objects in this uh, scene, it can select those rocks. Even this one. I really like this new AI masking. It's gonna help a lot in the situations like this when you have a busy scene and you want to adjust colors or something on um, one of the small details or subjects here. And that's it for this image. Let's uh, let's leave it for now. It's just a demonstration of the AI masking the tool and what it can do as you can see it's a very good and handy tool and it's gonna improve and even speed up the workflow of uh, your editing quite a lot if you found this video so far helpful and interesting please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about capture one and uh, landscape photography now the next big improvement uh, in capture one in my opinion is copy and duplicate layers yes finally we have that we have been asking for this feature for years now from capture one and now we have that feature so if i go back to this image and i select the glow uh, mask that i had before there was no way to to duplicate just one adjustment layer but right now you can they have added that feature so you can right click on the name of the uh, layer and select duplicate selected layer now you have a new glow and uh, as you can see i can change that one turn off the other one or move this one around now we have two glow as you can see easily without any hassle the next feature is also very nice and I'm really happy to have that. Whenever you had an image and you want to start over, when you reset the image or the, your edit, it's going to reset everything uh, without any crop or without any adjustment. Let's control Z and go back. Where's that? But now you can, you have this uh, ability to, to just reset the edit or just reset the crop instead of clicking on the button icon here you can click on this new uh, new arrow next to it and if you click that you see now we have three options reset reset crop or reset accept composition that means that you will reset all the adjustments but you will keep your your crop, your rotation, your um, keystones, which is also brilliant. I really like that one. Also, there are some other uh, improvements and new features, especially in tethering and uh, capture one lives. But because I'm not using those features, I'm not eligible to talk about that. But if you want to learn some cool techniques in editing in capture one, please watch this video here and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And until next time, have a great day.